you feel about Infinite, by the way? Over, like, for, uh, for the campaign, I guess? Yeah. Um, I'm randoming, by the way. I'll go random. I'll go random as well. I thought the campaign was really fun. I love the callbacks to the original series of games. Um, the music, the banish, the environments. It's all pretty cool. Um, but, you know, it's just Far Cry Halo. Mm. And it's it's a marriage of games that I've kind of already seen, right? Like, it wasn't like anything that just really changed the game, pardon the pun. Um, it was just, it was. Just, I thought it was just fine. I think the multiplayer is horrible, the way that their live mm. service model is, but... Um, yeah, yeah I enjoyed the gameplay of the multiplayer, but... Uh... Honestly, only recently can I say that because they finally fixed the uh, the network issues. Yeah, the desync. Yeah. Yeah, desyncs and all that. Well, they it's, kept they, for the longest time, good. for like really the first ten months. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you that Andy? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I don't know what it was sending there. It was just sending all of my um, moves there. Look at that. <laughs> w A S D W W D. That was only for me, though. You can still reply to them. Yeah, yeah. And say face. Maybe. Maybe I am that fan. Generator constructed. Um, but I think 343 just wouldn't listen to people. Um, and you could argue no. and say they still don't. <laughs> I, <laughs> when did they ever? I, they, oh, my God. Remember when they're like, we're going to remove the uh, the tank gun that people found? And everyone's like, that's yeah. awesome. Don't, don't, like they're saying the tank gun is awesome. Don't remove that. And 343's like, yeah, but we're going to remove it anyway. And then everyone outraged. They're like, you know what? We're going to put that back in. It's like, well, how about you listen to us and just not remove it? Yeah, uh, it's completely the wrong way to go about things. Like, okay, it, it, it's a fun thing. Maybe don't let it stay per in perpetuity uh, and then people wouldn't be ab abusing it but you would have had to do that to begin with and and think about these things from the beginning because if you don't you're gonna take away people's toys and you don't want to do that you know and i especially I, the speedrunning community really appreciated that i think yeah and you also like the pricing uh for the store is horrible i mean like Oh, that, yeah. There were some items in the store that was as much as the Master Chief Collection. That doesn't make any <laughs> sense. <laughs> you know, it's, like, it's very cringe, free-to-play kind of stuff. Do you want six Halo games with all their DLC and six multiplayers in the best, you know, place to play them? Or do you want, like, an attachment to your gun? It's horrible. I want Caddy or Sandry. That's what I want. I, just, I, I can't anymore with this sometimes. I'm gonna take down this man in the cover. So who's the fan? I believe it's so it's Nemesis. That's Serena. Serena is the fan. Well, if Nemesis is watching, thank you so much. Hello, Nemesis. Very cheddarful. What he said. I love. I, by the way, I love the trash talking in H4 that people do online. Like when you beat them. What the stuff. taunts? Yeah, no, not the taunts. They'll just be like, I played a guy yesterday. And I, I stopped his rush because I built tight. And he's like, how about you play Age of Empires and not play SimCity? <laughs> and it's like... But what Age you, of Empires what do you want? is basically a city builder. Yeah, so. <laughs> I mean, it's like there's city building in this. Like, what do you want from me? Expoing Tech 1, that's kind of cringe. I'll let him know. Lecture them, Andy. Cringe cop. <laughs> I'm gonna make this a lot worse for them. Oh, nice bunker drop. I thought that would stun the suicide grunt. Instead, the suicide grunt stunned the bunker. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Oh, eight. Because that's a thing. Well, this guy's not gonna have any eco because he's making suicide grunts and he's expoed. I'm just kind of pre splitting. Mm, yep. Yeah, good luck to them. Like, they're not gonna 
trade effectively here. Suicide Grants cost the same as Flamer, so... Since the Flamer can take a hit... It's always a win for you. Yeah. It's just you gotta dodge the AoE. Uh, yeah, I've done better, but... It's, it'll work. Alright, well I'm gonna go to this mini. That's where all these Suicide Grunts are coming from. I've got Johnny now, so... Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's gonna be nice. All units. Go See here. if we can get grenades. Not yet. I'm making Warthogs now, so that's really gonna end a Suicide Grunt push. Yeah, good, good. Alright, he's trying to stun me here. Oh, God! Oh, wait! Let me sneak around this way. Cold here. The newest Q movement update they did in Age is really great as well. I don't know if you're aware of that. Where like you can see now, like there's right, a Q line. movement. Like when you you can you could have always queued your movements, I believe. Or maybe oh, the lines. It'll yes. tell you the lines. I thought that was phenomenal. Yeah, they needed that at launch though. Like it's been such a staple of search games. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's just not there. It has. I I get it. Um, look at this and that. You need oh help God. with this? My base is getting frozen a bit. Yep, needs help. Alright. Oh, he's gonna beam two marines? Okay. And I'm coming back with all the marines. And I guess the Johnny. I'll mac this. For the heal. <laughs> Brim my boots there. Uh, thing is, I've got a Mac too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Firebase constructed. There we go. All right, this is gonna get cleaned up. Nice. Thanks yeah. for the help. Yep. Yep. All units. I can't wait to play Age on consoles. Uh, do you, Do you? Are you gonna? Play age on consoles, or are you gonna stick to it? I PC? I actually don't own the console right now, so oh, I, okay. I did have an Xbox One, but I haven't been using it, and it broke. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm actually just gonna sell it for parts. No, um, I, I, I've got a relatively high-end PC, um, so I'm I'm having a good time with that. Yeah, I wonder if they'll just add the controller functionality onto the PC version because they did allude. I would to... like to try it. Yeah, I think they alluded to some crossplay. Uh, I believe on their announcement. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's interesting because I, I think they'll have to automate some stuff. It's a little bit hard to play on a controller um, because I agree. there's so many little clicks to do. I agree. I, I think they're. I, I wonder if it'll be like you build the lumber camp and then it'll just smartly. I mean, it kind of does it already, but it'll intelligently pick the most effective way to start chopping trees or yeah exactly things like that maybe or just help it placement snap to it maybe yeah uh, i mean maybe the, there's the like right an, an area where if like you drop a uh a landmark it'll automatically grab some near vi some vills that are close by i mean i don't i don't know how they're gonna do it but um, yeah maybe they'll automate production like in age of mythology i don't know i love that that you could just toggle like build spearmen for forever yeah, it's very like friendly to casual players, right? I love. I that. think that's that's actually very important to have. I can't wait for retold. I, I recently just uploaded that game, or I'm sorry, that discussion that we had of uh, talking about retold. Yes. And it's it's got me all fired up about it. I mean, I I really can't <laughs> wait. It's I think that's going to be phenomenal. I think you know, based on listening back to our conversation, I I really do think they they are going to change a lot of. Uh, lore and the story and stuff yeah it wouldn't surprise me if they did um there, there's plenty of things they could improve yeah so i would say let's hope they do well actually i gotta say here naka i think uh dark blue has recovered actually quite nicely yes uh sorry for not helping there uh, I think we just build up a next big army and yeah. then go again. Yeah, I'm going into tech three. I'm going to make scorpions. I'm going to have... I'm, I'm just going to stick to you two with mantis and stuff. Um, I have... I have a bunch of cyclops and snipers, so... 
Yeah. That's... Cosplaying Cutter here. It's a great combo. There we go. Johnson is so much better in 1v1s than teams, though. I think he's a great turtle leader, but yeah, I think he's he's really scary in uh, in ones. Yeah, because you get all that uh, free building <laughs> in the on, on fifth point, right? And right. in team games, you kind of already have all your buildings, so it doesn't matter much. But in 1v1s, when that happens, you just pump out a ungodly amount of, of generators and right. you can't yeah. put yourself into tier three. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. You can't do that here. With his remote sensors and siphon turrets, I think he's great against um, air, and that helps him with turtle oh, yeah. combat salvage, of course. I mean, there's a lot to like about Johnson beyond his mechs. Supply pad upgrade complete. Yeah, yeah Johnson, for sure. Johnson's phenomenal. I'm much more suited for Desi Banshees this game than I was uh, last, so let's hope that. Okay, I got those hogs. Oh, perfect. Okay, I might um, might be ready to push here in a second. Upgrade complete. Yeah. Okay, you got the Izzy tanks. Very good. Yeah. So give me a moment. I'll link up with you. Okay. And then we can go. Wonderful. Yeah, I I guess I should have you know extend the invitation more often. If you ever want to play some age with us, uh, we're on. I would say majority of uh, weeknights. Uh, I'm probably going to do the Halo Wars thing instead. No, I think that's fine uh, too. Uh, I might... Just my preference. <laughs> no, I don't blame you. Um, yeah, I might. I mean, if there's a few nights where you just want to play some teams, I could probably join you for that as well. If you want company. Yeah, man. And, you know, when, when Retold comes out, uh, that as well. Yeah. Whatever other RTS you want to do. Um, like, I'm, I'm really interested in new RTSs whenever they come out. Uh, if they were any good, I usually do cover them. Yeah. Uh, like recently, I checked out Crossfire Legion. Uh, it actually didn't end up getting any players, which is really sad. So I did a little video on the topic of how important it is to market your RTSs and roughly how to do it. Did you ever play um, this RTS called Forge Battalion? Uh, I know of it. Oh, shite. I'm getting beamed. I have a heal for you here. Uh, I'll drop another. Two heals better than one. I'm gonna mac the shite out of this man. You first. Oh, oh it's oh, gone. Oh, oh, <laughs> like, oh. You don't need my mac. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, your Johnson heals in here too. Okay, perfect. It is. It is. You're you're going back to full man. I'm going to your free now. And let's take these notes. Okay, those hunters are a little spooky. Jump on that. I have ghost machine for whenever we see. Oh my god, that's beautiful. <laughs> Love that. Oh, we're mounting him. Oh, get the hero. Chase him, chase him, chase him. Don't let star up. There we go. Love it. Okay, how about. How about. Combat salvage, I think. Mm. He's shield and then how about Colossus? Yeah, let's just get this base, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna slack the Marines. Oh shit. Oh, H. Actually, that always just makes a big sound and isn't that scary. <laughs> yeah. You know, the seismic, I'm sure you know this, it does just a hint amount of damage on its own. It sure does. But you have to be frozen for it to matter, and you weren't, right. so... Right. We're Gucci. Alright, how about a little Johnny... He oh, shit! Oh. oh my god! I'm immortal! <laughs> I just lost everything. Alright, I'm rebuilding. <laughs> but yeah, I'm out of here. This is spooky. Yeah, let's Sherman. No cringe here yet from Desi. He's stuck to ground, which is great. Yes, and this time I have combat tech ready before everything. Oh, I didn't upgrade the gen. What a mistake. Don't tell Pyman. Embarrassing. You don't want to tell Pyman about that one. He will not be happy with you. I will never. <laughs> Man, Pyman has been around since the beginning. Have you talked to him recently? Not recently, uh, but... Yeah, we used to. We used to when I was active. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like with streaming and all. I, I don't think I'll go back to that to be honest. But the occasional YouTube video—that seems fun. 
he, uh... It was a weird moment in Team Respawn. Like, just a weird era of Team Respawn where he, uh... Ed didn't want to play Halo Wars anymore. He kind of quit. And at the same time, I decided I want to really just restart the whole channel. So I deleted, like, everything that we had done. And, um kind of started anew and and Pyman um was really the one guy that helped rebuild team respawn with me so really for all of 2019 it was just me and Pyman wow um and Ed, so, Ed, Ed came back at, at the beginning of 2020 do you mind explaining about deleting stuff what's the benefit <laughs> I at that time the way that we had done videos was just horrible I, we didn't really pay attention to our audience. There was too many moments in when we were recording games that, uh, you know, like there was dead space. No one was talking, you know, for, right. sometimes for like two or three minutes. I mean, it just wasn't really enjoyable for the audience. Um, right, too focused in the gameplay, I see. Yeah. And um, we didn't really say anything to each other. It was just really bad. Our, the quality, both video and audio, was just bad. Um, so we, we just wanted to, uh, have a fresh start. Um, oh god. Get wreck ruin and raided. Oh, that was me. It, it's boosting you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I should have caught it out. No, you're fine. Damn, hunters. What do I even get? Siege terror drop? Sorry, I'm a little, uh... I'm getting the t-shirt drop. We're wrecking the space. Anyway, uh, yeah, so so that's all really important. And actually, quality-wise, I've actually deleted, well, not deleted, but I've hidden my really old videos. Like, they're only there as reference to myself. Right. And, and that's it. That's, I mean, all those old videos, don't get me wrong, they're, I've done the same thing. Like, they are unlisted. So, like, I can view them. And hmm. I kept them that way in case, like, there are some people who will, like, you know, save links, um, like, in their browser bookmarks, or maybe, like, they have their own yeah. playlist of their favorites. So, like, if they want to view those videos, they can. Just no one can um, look at them anymore as long as they don't have the link. They might actually yeah, I think it's a good way to run things, honestly. If, yeah. if, if the videos aren't up to snuff, then get rid of them. If, if they are and they're sold, then... You know, I, I think it's fine to keep him. Well, I, I guess I should note that I haven't gone through this phase of mass deleting stuff in a few years. So mm. that's kind of out of my system. Ed's really the one that he loves deleting stuff all the time. But I, I don't want it to look... Um, I don't want it to hurt the channel's performance overall when there's a ton of videos not getting any views. I don't know if that negatively impacts the channel. I actually don't know how that works. Yeah, uh, I don't, I don't I, either. I think YouTube isn't forthcoming enough about this. Like, is it good to delete my videos if they have like 100 views and they're really old? Uh, don't know. Yeah, I mean, I tell people all the time. I'll say, hey, I have a YouTube channel. And they go, oh, how many subscribers do you have? I'll say, you know, over 50,000. They go, oh, cool. You must really know what you're doing. And I'll say, no, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Even to this You're day, just I... really consistent. Uh, I, I think that's the biggest part. I, yeah. And, you know, capturing that Halo Wars audience with great thumbnails. It, it's a good strategy. It takes a lot of work, but... It takes a lot of work. I taught... Yeah. I mean, everything I know, I taught myself. It wasn't like anyone had uh, held my hand along the way. But yeah, I, I think for anything in YouTube, I think the three key pieces of success is, is you got to find your niche that you're passionate about and an audience to be passionate about. Um, you gotta be consistent, and you gotta listen to what your audience says. I think if you just do those three things, you're gonna be fine, no matter what you upload. By the way, Desi is coming in, so we're yeah. gonna be in a little bit of trouble there. This will be a drive-by. I don't think we can take him right now. But we can take this base. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take this base, and I'm gonna Sherman. I'm gonna go around to this man's main. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm backing off the other way. Oh god, it's ice! Oh, ouch, H. Okay, um, let's see here. Yeah, <laughs> this poor man. He said that's GG. Uh, 
go over here. Let's see if I can take that hero. Oh, Colossi are so good. <laughs> here, this is a level two mech for this man. Oh, Ooh. let's finish the rest. Oh, Love it. <laughs> Goodbye. Love it. <laughs> Worth. That never gets old. Well, hey, I had a comment lately about Halo Wars 2, um, one of the tournaments I uploaded, that a guy really hates leader powers, thinks it makes the game not a serious RTS. What would you have to say to someone like that? I don't know. I. It's, it's in the design of the game. I mean, going back to Halo Wars 1, there's a lot of leader powers, right? So. Yeah, but I guess in 2, there's a lot more. Right. I mean... Like a lot, lot more. I understand that people could get really annoyed with all of these leader powers dropping all the time, and, you know, you, you gotta pay attention to your units in Halo Wars 2 more than I think any other RTS out there, because you're, if you don't, you're just gonna lose them all. Pre-split your, your units, kind of keep a mindset of who's dropped what leader powers when, and just keep an eye on your units, I think you'll be fine. I, that, I think that's kind of a passive-aggressive way of, you know, replying to someone like that and i apologize but i i do think that that that's honestly the solution is you gotta pay more attention to your units and be mindful of what leader i mean you can dodge and and cancel other leader powers with your own leader powers they don't all have to yeah, be used yeah. offensively like yeah if you're be if you're getting beamed you can land your own powers at the same time they can't control the units so. right like if you're getting beam beam them back at the same time or that's like it. uh if you're getting beam stasis yourself um, if you see cringe banshees show up, do please don't shoot me to buy yourself some time. Teleport, pelican transport, uh, bulwark, unbreakable. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things you can use in your favor to, um, to stop that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's not like you're helpless, but... No, I'm you, you, you do have your own. That's a very important point, I think, that many people don't remember. Right. You're not alone getting leader power <laughs> you can be proactive in your leader power use to stop other leader powers i pivoted into cringe air because we lost to cringe air so it's fine you got nukes <laughs> and you're not afraid to use them i can't believe that they left vultures like this i really can't Our allies are attacking the enemy base. i mean this is just i'm All sorry units. but mass vultures is broken <laughs> there's, there's no way around it. If you're coming through like some high ground and they don't see you coming, stuff dies. That's just how it is. Yeah. All units. It's, it's All just units. it's just too good. I, mean, of I you do think it's nice to have a way to end the game though. Uh, like there was a long period where we had games on Sentry, and it, ju it was just ruining ladder. <laughs> oh, I love Sentry. I wish. <laughs> You know how, like, in Call of Duty, there's, like, Nuketown 24-7? There should have been Sentry 24-7. <laughs> so, I think it's worse than once, um, in the sense that, you know, you can't do much about the turtle. In a 2v2, you can double up and actually wipe a base with just vultures. So, that's a very different scenario. It is, yeah. And Sentry, the game, can sometimes influence how you're going to win or lose. For example... Putting uh, Banished on the edge is an advantage on Sentry, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, because of the shields and the cloak, absolutely is. Hang on, hold that shitty phone. I'll take all this, thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. That's oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, I buffed you. <laughs> That's right. Oh, H. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Is See this real gaming now? Oh, Combat Salvage. Are we gonna survive this? Actually, you're gonna live. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Attract nerds. Jeez. That was a lot. <laughs> this is this is what we're here for. I know, right? I, I, this is like games like this is why I love this game. I apologize. Uh, for the gentleman who's watching us, who's a big fan, and we kind of pooed on him. Yeah, see you later, Nemesis. Out an enemy structure. Well played, sir. I thought they recovered that tech one push really, really well. Ugh. 
nice to see so many people playing on PC these days. Um, like, remember the early days when everyone was on on Xbox One and like load times were insanely long and you couldn't chat to each other? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so at least things have gotten better. They have. In that sense. <laughs>